This is a black truffle, and this is the reason why Amy is my friend. Yes, this is the reason why I'm here today. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of the prized things in the world to cook with. It is, they refer to it as black gold. It's it, absolutely divine. Yeah, it's and got it, the most. I think the reason why it's so divine is because you can't get anything else that's like it. No, that's You it. cannot describe to someone what truffle tastes like or smells like until they smell or taste truffle. Yeah, it's an extremely unique thing. I want to see you have a go. Smell it. Tell everyone what truffle smells like. It's, it's a really earthy flavour. It's, it is really tricky to describe, but it's almost a mushroomy flavour. But this one, this one in particular, is a lot sweeter than yeah. a lot of the other ones that I've, you know, had had the pleasure you know of I cooking get? with. Macerated strawberry. Yeah. Especially with that one. Yeah. Yeah. In that one. Always like a fresh cut grass as well, which sounds strange, but there's a lot of that really fresh but um, vibrant smell out of this one. I'm you want really to see excited about it. Lose their minds and have big. little conniptions. <laughs> get them to smell truffle and try and explain to you what it smells like. Yep. It is very unique, and you're going to use it today in a recipe. Yes. Yep. We're going to try and make this truffle shine, so we're not going to overcomplicate it. We're going to make four different little pizzas using four different little cheeses, but the truffle is going to be the main element on each of these pizzas. So. Quattro formaggi. Yes. Four cheese. Four cheese. About all the Italian pizza numbers. with truffle. Hang around, you'll see us use, how much do you reckon that weighs? 100 grams? Maybe a little bit more, 120. Yeah, you'll see us use about $350 <laughs> worth of truffle. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get our pastry. Some Borgs here. And our Borgs. Yeah. I remember Borgs because they're the only pastry with penguins on the front. Yeah, right. Yeah, see? Look, the penguins are. They are. Yeah, that's how I remember it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is cut four quite big rounds. So we, these are going to be like sharing pizzas. Or non-sharing pizzas. Yes. Non-sharing pizzas. Non, Non-sharing pizzas. You have we're one. We're all about sharing here on Ben's menu. This is the non-sharing version. Except when I cook. So what Ben's going to do is just make a little indentation with a slightly smaller cookie cutter. So what that is going to do is when we fill on the inside of that smaller cookie cutter imprint, it's going to create like a nice risen crust. There you go, Ames. Beautiful. So I'll get rid of that outside edge. My sister was here, she would eat this bit. Oh really? She loves Oh, I think I used to do it. that as a kid, but I don't think I could do it anymore. Yeah, my sister never grew out of that. Scondo and pastry. Yeah, cookie dough I do. Got a photo of me as a kid. My sister made, or my sister and I've been given a big amount of cookie dough. My sister's made all these beautiful little cookies lined up and I've got the same amount of dough, but I've got one mangled little cookie there and no dough left. I've that eaten it all. Explains you She's quite made well, perfect <laughs> cookies and I've just eaten mine. Okay, so we're going to just add a little bit of our lemon infused oil, just a light drizzle. So we've got like a blue, which yep. blue cheese and truffle. Amazing. No brainer. So we've got a ricotta cheese yep. and we've got a feta and some mascarpone as well. Okay. We've got some um, nice parmesan to finish it off as well. And we've got some lovely onion jam that our prep chef Louie has made as well. It's, it's very beautiful. good. It's very, very sweet. Good onion jam. Might just grab a pastry very, brush very in front of, of you there. I was looking for a pastry brush then and I couldn't find one for mm. you. So how about I, I, we get Louie. Louie, you did a wonderful job making that jam. <laughs> you could grab us a pastry brush. Oh no, I found one. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Never mind, Lil. We're just slightly covering them with that little bit of lemon infused olive oil. So that lemon's going to give it a lovely fresh sort of flavour as well. So this one is our mascarpone. I love it. It's awesome. A little it's bit of awesome icing for... sugar and some vanilla. That's a great replacement of like a, a whipped cream or a double yeah, cream or something like that. Because it's got that um, savoury note to it. It cuts through the sweetness really, really well. So on the next one, we're going to do a little bit of feta. So you pair, why are you pairing the truffle with cheese? So we're pairing truffle with cheese because cheese has a, quite a high fat content and fat carries flavour. So we want to carry that truffle flavour really, really well because you want that truffle to really shine through. So you spend a lot of money to, on it. Yeah. You want to get the most out of it. We want to make it shine. So if people were getting truffle and thinking, how do I use truffle? I want to try it. It's pretty much anything where you'd use mushroom, you could replace with truffle, wouldn't you? 
It's Absolutely, just how yeah. you get it in there, whether you, you shave it in there or you can get it on a microplane or you can roast it in vegetables. So our fourth pizza is going to be a blue cheese pizza. So we've got some nice ash grove blue. I think, and I, I may be biased because of how much I love ash grove, but this is, this would be in the top blue cheeses in Australia, I would think. Yeah. It is very good. It's not, some blue cheeses are overly pungent. Mm. This is not, it's beautiful. Nice and firm, still creamy, but still nice and strong, which you want a blue cheese to be. So that's a really good one. So I'm just lightly draping some of this onion jam over the top of all of our pizzas. So you just want to pull apart those little bits of onion so that you get that nice stringy texture as you're eating it. And you can see that Amy's been sparing. This is just I thought a you were nice... hinting. No, 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 I'm saying that that's good. <laughs> like you were saying before, you want the truffle to be the shining light. Just pairing with things is going to help drive it a little bit. Awesome, so they're all done. So I'm going to take that sticky Yep, hands. you go, I'll wash up a little bit. You're messy. Yeah. <laughs> For how long? Is there really a time you're just watching you from You're just going to watch it until that pastry is lovely and golden. That's when you, you, you know that they're ready. Yeah. And once they come out... We're going to shave the truffle over the top. A little bit of Parmesan cheese to give that nice little bit of salt and umami flavour. I'm ready to eat. Okay, so they have just come out of the oven. They're beautiful and golden. You could almost just eat them like that. Yeah, that's, if you didn't have <laughs> parmesan and truffle, that they're a great little canapé yeah, kind of... Yeah, canapé or a, a lazy dinner even. Yeah, yeah. You know, one of those Friday night, you can't be bothered cooking. All right, cooking. Go. Truffle first or parmesan first? You go truffle first, I'll follow you up with the parmesan. Oh, Beautiful. Don't miss the pizzas. No, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it on there. Once I yeah. Sort of, it's too hard to control. <laughs> so I just yeah. have to sneak that little bit there. Layer that on top. That's beautiful, beautiful and nutty. So we're just going to use the parmesan as a little bit of seasoning. No added salt or anything because again that truffle's going to have so much flavour. That's awesome. I'm excited. Well we've got to let John <laughs> the cameraman shoot them first. So John quickly get in here and shoot these so that we can eat them. Yum. 